all, my name is Ayana, and today's video is another super, super, super exciting video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve these wand curls. So if you guys want to see how I achieve them, make sure to keep on watching. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. And also, don't forget to turn on my post notification bell to get notified every single time I post. I post two times a week on Tuesdays and Fridays, so you don't want to miss a video. Also, don't forget to like this video, leave down any video suggestions you may have down below. Follow my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter, and my TikTok to keep up with me. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright everyone, so what we're going to need is a wand curler, a little bit of oil, a comb, and an elastic hair tie. And we're going to section off our hair into a small to medium sized section, apply a little bit of oil, and then we're going to detangle our hair thoroughly. It is extremely important with this hairstyle that you detangle your hair very, very, very well because you want your hair to lay smoothly on the rod so that your hair can be nice and soft and bouncy because if you don't detangle your hair, it won't look as nice. You guys can see I'll be doing this for pretty much the rest of my sections I will add a little bit of oil to make sure my hair does not look dry or brittle and then after I do that I will detangle my hair thoroughly to make sure my hair is extremely smooth and after it is smooth I will apply it to the rod and leave it on the rod for a couple of seconds before moving on to the next section the wand curler rod that I am using in this video is very unique. What I love about it is that the top of the rod is very thick and the bottom of the rod is very thin. So it allows for my curls at the top of my head, so basically at my roots, to be very, very thick, but the curl at the bottom is very, very thin and very, very defined. And I absolutely love that because it adds a lot of volume. And later on in this video, you guys will see how much volume my hair gets from using this specific rod because of the thick barrel at the top and the thin barrel at the bottom. But if you guys want a look similar to this and you guys want your hair to be very big and very voluminous, I would recommend that you use a barrel that has a thick barrel at the top and a thin barrel at the bottom. If you guys want a more elongated look and you want your hair to just kind of lay on your shoulders, then I would recommend that you use a thinner barrel because the barrels come in different sizes, so it all depends on what look you are looking for they have small 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 tiny barrels and they have medium-sized barrels and they also have large barrels it all depends on what you want so if you guys want something that looks like mine use a barrel similar to mine but if you guys want something that lays on your shoulders use a thinner barrel now the look that I always go for is a very voluminous look with a lot of volume and I don't really care as much about the definition. I used to be somebody who really loved definition and I only wanted my hair to be extremely defined and nothing else and I didn't want to see frizz but as I've grown into my natural hair and I've grown into my curls I absolutely love frizz now and I'll walk outside if my hair is extremely frizzy or if my hair is extremely big or voluminous I will walk outside and be totally fine but a couple years ago I would wear my hair just like how you see it on the screen right now I would only want it to be just like that and I would barely ever separate it so it all depends on your preference and what you want your hair to look like also, it is really important that you guys know how much heat your hair can take or what heat setting you should put your rod on. My hair can take a good amount of heat because I do not straighten my hair all the time like I once did, so it allows for me to do this hairstyle without damaging my natural curls. Alright, so now I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of the video and I will come back to you guys once I start separating my hair.
product of the wand curls and pretty much what I did was I put my hair in a high pony and put my bonnet on and went to bed as you guys can see this is the pony that I put my hair in and this has helped me tremendously so pretty much what I'm going to be doing is taking out small sections from this pony that I slept in and I'm going to be taking my hair and wrapping it around my finger just to help the curls to come back as you guys can see my hair is a little more elongated which is what I absolutely love about sleeping on my hair a long time ago I wouldn't sleep on it I would immediately separate it right after I finished wand curling but now I wait until the next day and it has made my hair look so 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 much better and now I'm pretty much going to do this until I'm done with the rest of my hair until I'm happy with the result that I do when I want extreme volume when I want my hair to be extremely big is I will flip my head upside down then I will shake my hair with my hands a little bit and then I'll flip my head back up and after I do that I will have so 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 much volume so that is just a little tip that you can do if you want your hair to have a lot of volume that is pretty much it for this wand curl tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. And turn on my post notification bell to get notified every single time I post. I post two times a week on Tuesdays and Fridays so you don't want to miss a video. Also, don't forget to like this video. Leave down any video suggestions you may have down below. Follow my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter, and my TikTok to keep up with me. And I will see you all in my next video.